Storyboarding is one of the most important tools in a filmmaker's arsenal. A good storyboard tells the story of your video project frame by frame, allowing your team to see the beats of the story as seen by the camera. There are many ways to storyboard a film scene. You can draw them like they did in the old day Disney films. You can use images from other films from a platform like Frameset or Shot Deck, or you can use any platform built specifically for storyboarding which is my favorite method and what I'll be showcasing in this video today. Before you start storyboarding, you need a script of some sort. It's good to have a sense of what is happening in your story before you begin visualizing it. What I like to do is to break down my script into scenes. And from there, I can start to list the exact shots that I need to have in my storyboard. Let's use the examples of this fictional scene I've created. In this scene, I will have an astronaut arriving back to his ship. Upon arrival, he's surprised to find an alien standing in the doorway. I'm not very good at drawing, but I do have a good sense of the way that I'd like this scene to play out. I know what moment I want to highlight and which specific camera angles I'll use. Even though I have a good idea of how I'd like the scene to be shot, it's not really easy to communicate until I visualize it. This is where the storyboarder platform comes in. In the platform, you can start by setting up your project, like this. There's a few things you should get familiar with as you'll be using these tools repeatedly for every project. Scene Builder is where you build your scenes in 3D space. You can add objects. You can add cameras. You can save boards that you like, and you can move around with the camera. Next, you want to start thinking about what assets you need in your story to make it work. For me, I know I'll need a spaceship, an astronaut, a corridor, and an alien. To find my 3D assets, I use Sketchfab, a huge library of 3D assets that you can buy and download for free let's start to create our frames. I like to build my scene with different cameras. To do that, you just add a new camera and then adjust the shot size. Best thing about Storyboarder is the ability to move your cameras around in 3D space. This is great because it's how you would construct a scene in real life. You would walk around the scene to find the best blocking for your action and the best angles for your cameras to shoot. Now, watch how I create my scene. You've created all your frames with the various cameras, angles, and actions. You can take those images and import them into your storyboard template. I created a free template that's super easy to use. Feel free to download that in the link below. There you have it. I created my storyboards using virtual cameras and 3D assets. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and newsletter for more content like this.